easy solutions to problems. Gonna, how, how we get rid of that. First, you, you, you stop calling it a problem and look at what it's reflecting back to you, the result of your choices. And you'll see probably that the, re that the problem now is the re was actually the solution to a prior problem. Like the person will say, you know, I'm lonely, I don't have a relationship, I want a relationship. Okay, they have a problem, now they got a relationship. And pretty soon they say, you know, I'd be rather be alone than have this relationship. So then now, you, you know, and now you, what you know, you don't want that relationship, you're gonna get rid of that, you're gonna to wanna to have another one. So it's like, when we solve problems from the mind, from the thoughts, from what we've been taught, the logic, the reasoning, having to do with intellectualism, and all of the books and study about this and that and who it is and the labels and the blah, blah, blah and everything. Just remember, who are writing all these books, who's publishing all of them, who has the money to do that, to distribute that? So you'd always begin to look at who are these people, who are these entities, what else are they doing? And you know, you do your own research. But after a while, you begin to notice, very big time, that really you do know and that you've been stopped also in your knowing, and then this thing comes like we call a problem. It could be relationship, your work, health, or anything. You have to look at, okay, what is the cause of that? And then when you look to see the cause of the problem was also what you might call your choices, you then, to give up the problem, is you then Give that to your inner guide, your divine partner. A good time is even before you go to bed at night. And just turn it over and say, hey, and you don't even have to talk after a while, you know, your inner self knows what you have need of. And it's your source, your partner, your beloved that is sourcing all of us and, and we're unified. And the divine always wants the highest good for you. And when people have an idea of a, a psychopathic God that's working against them and wants sacrifice and wants you to suffer and really glorifies your suffering and everything, this, this doesn't compute at all. And when you know yourself and your true self and you start experiencing the sweetness of that and the sweetness of that love, and that's why people love their animals so much, is there's that unconditional love there. So there's really not a problem. There's an opportunity for you to really empower yourself. And by then looking to see the source of it and why you call it a problem and how much power you have given to a certain situation or however you want it to be to then you can be happy and realize how much what our emotions are activated, fear-based, that's coming from the mind and our reactions to the outer world that are all connected with all these meanings, all this stuff is very connected to suffering. And when we, we finally get that, how we stop suffering is to notice where the source of it comes from and how it's happening. And, and then thrown in, people say, well, I have to suffer, I have to have fear, I have to worry in order to solve my problem. No, you're using you focus on on the 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 wrong source of all Let's see and there's always distraction to take you outside and keep you always scared and anxious and all that you have to you pull yourself to see together and then what you do is now you affirm and know the truth that means you treat the condition by even using words if you need to remind yourself of who you are. That means to read that which will inspire you. My book, Live Your Bliss. What you think of me is none of my business. Dare to be great. I'm using these uh, programs here, I can work with you on whatever level that you need and, and you desire. And so what to me is, is so exciting or thrilling is we treat the condition by not focusing on the condition, but by going to the truth, the absolute truth. And we need to remind ourselves of this because we're constantly being flooded with fear-based ideas and our senses staying actively pursuing objects out here, thinking that will give us the solution to the real problem. 
self abuse, self hatred, all, all of this, and that projects on others and 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 uh, keeping some kind of a false, sick soap opera reality continuing. No, that's not my choice. I don't consent. And let those so-called problems bring you into yourself. I am so grateful. Not that I have to do it again. Not that I needed that. Don't get into make it a belief out of what was going on. But that I had such a miserable marriage. Because it took me to a teaching, metaphysical teaching. Not that that's the be all and the end all, but that was where I could go, I could relate, I could, I could understand, I could know. And I started treating the condition of ignorance with knowledge of absolute truth, that you can apply at any, any moment and come back to yourself. And, and, and that's, that's it. And that takes, because we're so addicted to the distraction, let's take our children to, you know, amusement park and give them a good time. No, because even at the end when it's over, is that the only ride? I don't get any more. Where's the candy? You know, it's like, and they grow up that way. No, my great grandma, boy, when you came to grandma's house, she worked. And you did a good job too. But you knew she loved you. She'd do anything for you. You treat the condition. You 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 have the 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 divine the the solution by going to your own your own heart and your own the God within and turning it over and now letting it go and allow it to work itself out and in the moment you will know what to say and what to do and in that moment you could deal with it but you're coming from the knowing of the absolute of who you are and what you're called on claim it and be it now 